while undercounted and underserved. That's the reality for many people in Central Florida. It turns out billions of dollars in free federal funds did not end up going to certain communities. The reason? Well, some people were either too busy, too afraid, or just flat out refused to be counted during the 2010 census. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky joins us now with how community leaders are trying to keep that from happening during this year's crucial count. Adriana? It is so crucial, and one thing they are doing is canvassing some of those historically hard-to-count areas. It's crucial because Central Florida keeps growing at an alarming pace. An estimated 1,500 people are moving in every week to Central Florida, and this snapshot in time will affect how much federal money Central Florida will receive during the next 10 years. It's nice having nice sidewalks. Jay Diamond moved to Holden Heights three years ago and says he's seen exactly what federal dollars can do for a community. Just look at all the improvements along his street. Anything that you can do to help this neighborhood improve and have more accountability is good for everybody. Diamond says that's why he's going to make sure his voice is counted during this year's census. And he hopes his neighbors will too. This lake was in bad shape. Melvin Pittman is the complete count committee chair for Orange County and remembers what this place used to look like. He spent nearly 40 years with the Orange County government and saw firsthand how federal funding helped turn things around. Me personally, I, can, I really can appreciate the difference here and, and how important the census is in, in making that difference. Pittman says federal dollars led to newly paved roads, a cleaned up pond, and a brand new community center right here in Holden Heights. But he says more could have been done in this area had more people answered the census 10 years ago. Well, so the proof is in the pudding right here. Yes, it is. It is. This is seeing is believing, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, what your dollars can do if you complete that census. Right now, Holden Heights is one of five areas in Orange County that volunteers and census workers will be targeting. The others are Eatonville, South Apopka, Orla Vista, and Pine Hills. These specific areas lost out on millions of dollars in federal aid during the last census, all because some people refused to fill it out or underreported the number of people living in their homes. So that means that we don't get um, the number of classrooms that we need. We need three. We don't get the number of the amount of funding we need for free and reduced lunch to serve families. Oh. We don't get enough um, funding for early child care. So that's why workers and volunteers are working together. Did we get this one yet? I did. I got this one. To break down language barriers and other barriers that have prevented people from filling out the census in the past. Places like the Holden Heights Community Center will even have computers and kiosks available for those who want to fill out the census online but don't have access to a computer or smartphone at home. And these kiosks are not going to be like for computer geeks. Yeah. <laughs> They're for people like me who can, you know, need help and, and, yeah. and access some computers. So it's going to be real user friendly. 